I first met Shannon um, at work at the insurance agency office and uh, when we were having lunch in the lunchroom, I could see her through the big glass windows come in every day and uh, just knew there was something about her that I had to go and go and see what was what was uh, what was going on. I decided to approach her and uh, just knew she was a super special lady. but his first time he invited me to do something was when he was having a 4th of July barbecue. That one didn't work out like as well as I expected, but his, I guess, first date was when we went to this little coffee shop called Posies, and I wasn't sure if it was a date or not because he said that his bandmate had invited us to this thing, but on my way there, he said he paid for my ticket, and then when I got there, he had a glass of wine waiting, but he only gave me a hug at the end of the night, so I wasn't sure how he felt. <laughs> I realized she was the one a while ago. Um, I think it was when she threw me my birthday, my surprise birthday party, my surprise 30th. She got all my friends together and did these amazing special labels with 30-year uh, beer from Bridge uh, Bridgeport Brewery because um, it was their 30th anniversary, believe it or not. And um, I just couldn't believe that somebody cared about me that much and would would go all lengths to make sure my 30th birthday was that amazing. I can't really say there was one moment, but he's the only person that I ever loved and so today I know he's the right one. Shannon, five years ago you captured my heart by being exactly who you are. The sweetest, most beautiful, passionate and sensitive person I've ever known. You've been my very best friend through the good and the bad. You've been the reason that I smile and you've given comfort beyond measure. I promise to love you, to always strive to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. Together we are better than we could ever hope to be alone and today I give you my love and trust forever. You will always be the best part of my day. Eric, would you take Shannon's hands again and repeat after me, saying, I, Eric, take you, Shannon. I, Eric, take you, Shannon. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And here too, I pledge you my faithfulness. And here too, I pledge you my faithfulness. Shannon, you have words for Eric. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for being the only man that I've ever loved. Thank you for allowing me to love you, but also for respecting me and love, loving me like no other man was ever willing to do, was ever able to do, or ever chose to do. Thank you for choosing me to create a life with, and I know that we'll have a wonderful life together because I know that God's on our side, and I know that love's on our side, and I know that you'll be a wonderful man. So thank you for marrying me today. <laughs> Shannon, please repeat after me. I, Shannon, take you, Eric. I, Shannon, take you, Eric. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Here too I pledge you my faithfulness. Here to you I pledge you my faithfulness. So 
So he told me he loved me on New Year's Eve. I remember we were in my kitchen. Everyone's a little bit tipsy. My sisters were there and Hallie and we were in the kitchen making out and he told me he loved me, but I had never told anyone I loved them, so I didn't say it. First time was on New Year's Eve at her place. Um, on her counter, on her kitchen countertop, when you're making out, actually. Gosh. But he waited. Six months later, I told him. 